we rock the sin city. Now. 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 You can only get it right here first. Shut up, shut me out. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. D-D-D-Y-R. We rock the city. Good day, my name is DJ Beans and you're listening to DYR 105.1 FM. Thank you very much for tuning in. We're at Bat Center again today and we are talking with T-Bone, who is the event and publicity coordinator for Bat Center. So T-Bone, nice to actually be back on air with you after so long. Yes, thank you very much. It's great to be on air with DYR. It's been a while. Yeah, I remember it was around, what, 2009-ish that uh, I was on air with you at one stage. So anyways, let's not go down that road. We're going to be talking a little bit today, and t is going to be telling us a lot more about the various events and weekly, uh, pretty much weekly events and programs that are on at the Bat Center. They've got some interesting things from poetry sessions, music workshops, hip-hop performances, jazz sundowners. So T, run us through it. Basically, what's happening? All right, the most important thing is for everyone out there to know that there is a weekly program that happens right here at the Bat Center. For example, every Wednesday in the afternoon from 5 o'clock till 7 o'clock, there's poetry sessions. And that happens in the Resource Center and sometimes it'll happen in the Mission Control Conference Room. Right, so that happens between 5 and 7. So anybody's welcome. You can share poetry, storytelling, share or read from a book, uh, read from a poetry book or something you've written yourself in terms of poetry but it's all about the spoken word that happens every Wednesday evening from 5 till 7 every Friday is a is a relatively new concept basically we're calling on all musicians young and old semi-professionals and professionals included to come and use the stage and what we do we've got experts in the field of entertainment who share their knowledge and expertise on how to use the stage to improve your performance so whatever it is you do whether it's the way you sing or the way you're supposed to dance or move on stage all that you get to learn at the Friday workshop starting at midday that's 12 o'clock until 3 o'clock in the afternoon it's very important that you that the musician learns how to use a stage but we don't only cover the on stage aspect we also do how to write your profile your resume how to be introduced on stage how to communicate with the audience because that's important if you've got fans out there they need to hear you you need to engage them and make your performance more fun and that's that part and then of course um, well, T, just hold on one second. I'm just wanting to ask you a little bit more about the music workshop. Um, is there any specific cutoff age? Is there any specific type of person apart from a musician who would enjoy this? Right. We've had all sorts of people. We have had Maskandi artists. We've had gospel singers. We've had R&B singers. We've had jazz singers. We've had rap artists. Anyone who performs on stage is welcome. Now that's the, the the singers and that level. We've also got bands that come in, that come through. So what happens is we go through people's profiles and whatever song you can sing, we ask the bands to play. So in terms of age, no age limit. In terms of experience, we do prefer people who are already considering themselves as semi-professionals or professional musicians. There are some people who are absolute beginners who come through, but of course we can't spend too much time trying to teach you how to sing. We just want to teach you people who already know how to sing, how to improve on their act. Because the idea is to help people make more money from singing or from being a band member and being a musician in general. We also have Samro who will come in and, and teach you how to register your music, how to, uh, to register your band and all of that lots lots more so friday music workshop that's what it's all about okay and then also just with regards to the samurai we um all the listeners out there please just do stay tuned in uh, because at some stage or other we will be doing an interview with samurai so if you're an independent music musician out there and you are wanting to know how to hit a pick then just keep it locked in 105.1 fm okay so uh back to you t-bone sorry uh tell us about your saturday hip-hop performances what's it all about does it get crazy up in here tell me come on i want to know the dirt 
it's hip hop. Need I say more? All right, basically at the Afri Portico Jazz Lounge, it turns into a hip hop house uh, every Saturday afternoon from after midday. And basically different artists come through. There's a fee at the door and it varies depending on who's performing. And all the, it's mostly for the youth. They come in and they get on stage and they share their spoken word, their rap, their hip hop. And there's a whole crowd that comes in and they just want to listen and have fun and they'll give you feedback on how you're doing. It's really, really an awesome day of hip hop. And that's all I can say about that for now. So you're not going to spit us a rhyme there? No, I ain't. Okay, well then, if you're not, then tell us about Sunday Jazz Sundowners. I'd really like to hear a little bit more about this. Um, I, just from what I hear on the Bat Center, apparently it's a bit more of a matured age group that attend the Jazz Sundowners. Am I correct? To some extent, you are correct. You've seen one or two toddlers walking around. However, the main thing about the jazz every Sunday, which starts from about 2 o'clock onwards till 5 o'clock, is the band performances, and then after that it's open stage. But the bands that have been lined up to perform are professional Durban-based jazz bands, people who are known in Durban for their brands of jazz, and that's what they do. Between from 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock every Sunday. And what has been amazing is the feedback from the audience. The quality of jazz is really good, which puts jazz, uh, well, puts the Bat Center up there as one of the premier j- live jazz venues in Durban. You don't get too many of those in Durban. So the, the band's sponsored by a municipality. We have now got the budget to at least give something to the musicians so that they can also put bread on their table while entertaining us. And the beauty of that is that it makes it free for audiences. So if you want to watch quality jazz for free, then it's on right here every Sunday at the Bat Center from about 2 o'clock until 5 o'clock. Well, I don't know. You had me sold it free. But anyways, T, listen, just tell me, um, because someone around the Bat Bat Center was telling me that uh, you guys have had some, over the years, some quite iconic jazz artists through the place. Um, Do you know much about that? Or is there someone else that we should be speaking to? (laughs) Look, what I'm doing, I'm in the process of, of researching and a lot more about some of the names, the big names that have come through the Bat Center. So I don't really want to do a, a misjustice to some of the those names that I might forget. But the reality is the Bat Center is very famous for launching many artists' careers. A lot of people are big out there in the world of rap, hip-hop, dance, um, and, and music in general. And their careers were launched here at the Bat Center. You've even got administrators of the arts whose careers were launched here at the Bat Center. A lot of people are somewhere out there because the Bat Center gave them a chance to just start. We gave them a platform for things to happen. So because I'm relatively new here, I'm still putting together that database. And hopefully by sometime next month, I can then confidently reel out the names. One thing that one name that is obviously obvious in people's names is the Sipo Kumede Hall. The main hall is named after the legendary late Sipo Kumede for his amazing work, contribution to the Bat Center, but also contribution to the music around the world as a child and representative of Durban. So we celebrate him there. So I'd, I would also like to celebrate the other jazz musicians who've come through the Bat Center. Okay, well, there you heard it. That was T-Bone, the events and publicity coordinator for Bat Center, and he just gave us the lowdown, so let me just hit you with it once more. Wednesday, and this is every Wednesday, every week, Wednesday, poetry session at the Bat Center. Every Friday, there's a music workshop. Saturdays, there are hip-hop performances, and Sundays are jazz sundowners. Absolutely awesome. So much going on at Bat Center. It just seems to be the creative arts and cultural hub of Durban. Absolutely love it. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me, T-Bone, and we will hopefully chat again with you soon. If you've been listening in, thank you very much. My name is Beans, and you're listening to DYR, 105.1 FM. Keep it locked in. You can only get it right here first. DYR. We rock the city. 
Come down to Bat Center. Enjoy live music, poetry, visual and performing arts, music and theatre workshops, our youth development program, and much more. Bat Center, 45 Maritime Place, Durban Harbour, 031 332 0451. Durban's Creative Arts and Culture Hub. <laughs>